yesterday. We forgot right. to end the video. It got dark. Yeah. We didn't see any moose. So, no moose. So, today, we have ate breakfast. And we are headed out to the National Monument Land. Which uh, I really don't understand. But Katana Woods and Waters National Monument. That's actually why we came out here to uh, this part of Maine. Was to go into the National Monument. I didn't know that. Well, we didn't even know about Baxter. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Remember? Yeah. Like, somebody, somebody told us about Baxter. In Lubeck told us they were coming out here to the National Katahdin National Monument. And we're like, what is that? So I started like digging around and found out it's a new park. Or it's not a park, it's a monument. And all the land was donated by um, the co owner or co founder at Burt's Bees. She doesn't own it anymore, but um, she bought all this land up in Maine that used to be logging land and uh, gave it to the country for a national monument. So it's really not anything yet. Like, I mean, it's, it's pretty. You know. But, uh, well, I mean, we're just, just driving in. It's just a dirt road. I mean, it's pretty. So this is just, from what I understand, old logging roads. And they do have some signs up that this was that this is the national monument. Um, but that's about it. I, on their map, they have a couple of lean-tos. There's a couple like outhouses. Yeah. Um, but that's basically <clears throat> all there is yet. Um, a lot of the main residents did not want this land to be national park land because they can't hunt it anymore we're on dirt road by the way i don't know if i told you that yet but that's what all the bumpiness is about yeah so even the governor of maine was against this park being made but whenever obama was in office is when this got sworn in as national monument so um i'm glad there's baxter park because like there's not much to do here. I, we did pass some trails. Yeah, there is some hiking, uh, and I think it said you can like tent camp or something. Yeah. But there's them. nothing like there's no picnic tables or fire pits or anything that we've seen yet. I mean, maybe there is on down the road, I don't but, think so. but uh, a turkey. Um, can I see? Uh, that's not a turkey. Hey, right, look at this bird. Anyway, so you can come into the Cantaudan Woods and Waters. It was a butterfly nest. It was one of the big butterflies. Is that the part? Butterfly? Yeah. Or hornet? It was one of them big. Let's back up. It was on this tree though. Oh, right there. Right there, that's the one. Come into Katahdin for free. You don't have to pay an entrance fee like you do at Baxter, but there's not much to do in here. So just it's whatever you, if you just want to ride through and see land, I don't know. I guess you could see water from in here, you think? Uh, I don't know. Probably. I mean, we can see mountains water. right in front of us, so you can see some mountains. There's water on the left side. I don't know if you can get to it. It does, though. The property 
<clears throat> does go all the way down to the water. So, but I don't know if you can get to it from this side. We can get to it from the campground. That's how I know that. Yeah, so a good place to stay if you're not tent camping is where we're staying at, the Matagamon Wilderness. You're not gonna have any water or power or sewer, um, but you can use a generator. Or any hiccups? We're not gonna have any hiccups. Okay. <laughs> um, you can use your generator, and they have a dump station somewhere. We haven't yeah, found yeah, it yet. Somewhere. In water, and they have in their store. They have a lot of supplies, so you should be good to go. Because the closest place to here is Patton, right? Yeah. And that's a good hour. Third, uh, yeah, I mean, I probably would, close to an hour. Forty-five minutes. Forty-five yeah. minutes to an hour. But it's worth it. It's really beautiful. So we're going to keep driving into Tata and see if anything catches our eye. And then we're going to go into Baxter for a while. We came to the end of the road we were on. And there's a bunch of trails. So we're going to hike down one of them to try to get to Stair Falls. I think it's about a mile and a half. Excited about it? Mm-hmm. Let's go, Isaac. Come on, Coda. Whoa, that's a big rock. Are you gonna carry the baby the whole time? Are you sure you wanna carry your baby the whole three miles? Three miles? No! You wanna leave her in the car? Mommy, I gotta get my purse. You're gonna carry a purse for three miles? Okay, I, I forgot what? it. Whoa. I forgot it. You're strong. Mommy. Yeah. Here, let me tell you the one that has it. Alright, don't drop that on your feet. Good job, London. No. A hundred foot down the trail, there's a sign that says International Appalachian Trail Staircase Fall. So, right, I guess we're going the right way. Yeah. But so. so the kids are. Hey, are you like yeah. I don't know. Me, not you. I don't know. Okay. I like the kids are ready to be done, so if we don't have that much further to go, they'll have to go all the way back. <laughs>
we didn't know what to expect. Um, we'd never even heard of it before. James is the one who spotted it on the sign when we were driving out here. But yeah, it's like a staircase. It's just a gradual, you can see it better when we're further back up the river. It's just a gradual like incline of stairs. It's really pretty. James, you did a good job spotting the falls on the sign. We made it. There are some ducks. There are little teeny ducks. Us and all the kiddos. Isaac's over there taking a nap in the weeds. It's like I can live down here with all my food and everything. You're in the weeds. Yeah. There ain't no snakes here. But there he is. These little babies throwing rocks in the water. Yeah. So it's it's beautiful, yeah. It's awesome. So we've been here on the north side of Baxter since Monday. Today is Thursday. Yeah. So we were planning on leaving today and going over to Mount Washington and New Hampshire. But yesterday we went up to the um, lodge and got on the internet because um, Michael informed me after we've been here for days that they had Wi-Fi up there and I didn't know. So, um, well, they, we have zero service. They use like CB radios yeah. to communicate here there's because no there's no cell there's tower, no service. There's nothing. Yeah. But they do yeah, have Wi-Fi yeah. so, so anyway. The phone line. Um, <clears throat> so while I was on Wi-Fi, I saw that Less Drunk More Journey are having a meetup in Portland, Maine. And that's going to be Saturday morning. So we've been here for almost a month and we knew they were coming this way. So we've been kind of like, are they going to get here before we leave? You know, we've been excited about them coming up here. So we saw that they're having a meetup. So we decided to stay um, an extra night here in wherever we are in the wilderness. Yeah. And then we'll head out Bad tomorrow. So we, we're going to try to go stay at the llama farm again. Cold, overcast, drizzling. But today we have sun and Dad, up. 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 for hiking. Yep, so we're probably gonna hike back. We've got over a mile and a half back. One point six. And drive some food and then go into Baxter. Because they do have a junior ranger program in Baxter and the kids get their books and they need to go get their badges, so we do that? Yeah. Yep. I don't know. Pack, start packing up tonight, I guess. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Getting ready to roll out tomorrow. Yep. So, if you walk down the trail uh, that we took to the falls, there is a camping spot with a fire pit. And it's by permit only. Yeah, there is a picnic table. So when you're coming down the trail to the right, that's the way you go to see the waterfall. But if you keep going straight, the camping area is right here. So if you want to backpack in, it's about what 1.64 miles in. Yeah, it's probably 1.75, some mile and three quarter to here. But. Yeah, I mean, it would be a good place to backpack. Beautiful view of the river. So right there's the river. Be aware, it is bear country. Uh -uh. 
bears. bears. We've seen all kind of moose. tracks from bears and moose and coyotes. We haven't seen any animals, but we've seen their tracks. So they're out here. Somewhere. But when you got a caravan like us, probably don't get so much. We sound like a herd of elephants <laughs> going through the woods. Don't we? Yep. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna head back now. Yeah. You ready? Long trek back. All right. All right, Isaac. <laughs> Did you have fun doing this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Lakota. Hi, Lakota. Hey. You gonna say hi to me? And you did some drawing. Got a camper there. Looks like a squirrel. And a moose with what color is the moose's face? Purple. Yeah, it's your favorite color, isn't it? Because I see you've got a sweater here that's all purple. James, is it? Hey, James. You drew this? That's excellent. Thanks. Yeah. Wow, you've got a talent there. Don't you guys think he did a nice job? Yeah? That's impressive. Holden. Hey, Holden. Hey. What three things should a prepared hiker take with them? What do you think? Flashlight, whistle. Yeah. And food. And food. What usually goes, what washes food down? Water. Water. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're saving the best for last. You're London. Yes? Wow, you're a pretty good artist too. Nice. London, congratulations. There's your booklet. Thank you. All right. All right. All right.